like this eyewitness film of JFK entering Dealey Plaza. Robert Hughes was a custom agent at the Terminal Annex building at the southeast corner of Dealey Plaza. As the motorcade turns onto Houston Street, Hughes' camera inadvertently trains on the Texas School Book Depository building. After undergoing the groundbreaking process of scanning and restoration, does Hughes' high-resolution film show the sniper taking aim in the sixth-floor window? After the shots were fired, he happened to look up at about the fifth or sixth floor. The reason it's important is what this film could tell us about the sixth-floor window, if there was a man identifiable in it. And what we did is we took this section up here and tried to stabilize somewhat around this window. As far as I know, this has never been able to be seen by the human unaided eye. As the loop starts right here, you can see the shape in the window, Lee Harvey Oswald getting in position to fire the first shot. And when he fired, the gentleman in these windows heard him working the bolt and heard the shells dropping on the ceiling. Hughes stops filming just as the president's limousine makes the turn onto Elm Street. The is now going past me. The limousine is now traveling at a very high rate of speed. Secret Service men standing up in the limousine. They are armed with submachine guns. It appears as though someone in the limousine might have been hit by the gunfire. If Hughes had kept his camera on for just a few more seconds, we might have seen a rifle emerge to fire bullet A, 